Hello everyone, welcome to AgriFood Planet. In today's video, let's get to know why electrical conductivity of soil is important for farming and how to measure it in laboratory. First question comes in mind is why measure electrical conductivity of soil? The answer to that is irrigated land accounts for 40% of our food supply and salts impact the yield on about one-fifth of those acres. All irrigation water contains at least some salt. If salts are allowed to build up around root zone of a crop, they injure plants, reduce yields and even change soil structure causing long-term damage to the land itself. In order to preserve the productivity of irrigated land, it is important to understand how to manage salts. Therefore, electrical conductivity is the key to making these measurements. Pure water does not conduct electricity, but most water, even tap water, has enough dissolved salts to be conductive. Because the concentration of salts in water directly affects its conductivity, the measurement of electrical conductivity is a very effective way of measuring salt concentrations in soil water. Common unit for electrical conductivity The SI unit for electrical conductance is the Siemens. So electrical conductivity unit is Siemens per meter. This unit is changed to DC Siemens per meter. Let's get to know more about how to measure electrical conductivity of soil sample. First, we will require measuring cylinder, beaker, glass rod, 20 gram of soil sample, electrical conductivity meter, and electrode. Weigh 20 gram of soil sample and add into a 100 ml of beaker. Add 50 ml of distilled water into the soil sample and stir it with the help of glass rod or stirrer for 30 to 60 minutes. After 30 to 60 minutes of mixing, let it stand until the mixture gets settled. Lastly, place electrode in settled soil mixture and measure electrical conductivity of saturated extract which is visible above settled soil mixture. Once we get the reading, record it in notebook. 